Welcome everybody to today's OP game. Coming in at 92% overall, but 97% recent reviews, Goobies. We've played this a bunch on my Twitch stream, so if you're interested in more, check that out. I've played this so much that I've maxed out every single one of my abilities. So don't compare your first run to mine, but you are gonna love this game. Who do we want to be? Wiggle Woogle, Spinky Winky, Woozy Woozy, Bingus Bongus, or Dizzy Wizzy? Since this is our first run on this channel, let's just start off as Wiggle Woogle. Choose from one extra item, and they're generally of better rarity. Let's go. This little green orb is gonna heal me sometimes. You guys start with Quad Shot, which is really, really nice. I upgraded that. Classic concept here, kill enemies, they drop experience orbs, collect experience orbs, level up, get abilities. Movement speed, deal more damage the faster you move. All damage dealt has an additional 10% chance for critical strike or increase your attack speed. Let's go critical strike on this one. There are a couple of really, really good builds that I know of. This is a, a device that uh, collects all the experience on the screen for you. Attacks have a 20% chance of spawning a row of four spikes dealing 5.2 damage. It shoots enemies dealing 5.85 damage. Attacks have a 10% chance to conjure a frost bolt that slows hit enemies by 20%, deals 7.8 damage. 10% chance to explode on death. I'm gonna go Will the Wisp here. One really, really good thing that I like about this game, besides it just being fun as hell to even look at, is the fact that the more that you upgrade certain abilities, the more that they will evolve into something even better. You'll notice that some of these upgrades have these little level markers here. As it moves along, it will change and evolve. 25% chance to spawn a chain of three lightning upon impact. That sounds great. That was a chain lightning strike there. Essence of Zigrid. Attacks have a 5% chance to, to conjure a meteoroid, or all projectiles deal plus one flat damage. I'm gonna try the meteoroid. Different colored uh, upgrades. Oh, there was one right there. Different colors, I think, means like rarity. But like I said, since the upgrades evolve eventually, they're all good. There's not like one that I really, really don't like. Gain one tranquilizing mass, which floats around you and stuns enemies for one second and deals 1.3 damage. This is kind of like King Bible. I think they're actually really powerful, especially when they evolve, if you get enough of them. Plus one every time you upgrade it, I think. Could be important for late game, and you will see that later. Kind of have an AoE thing going on right now. If I want to, I can turn damage numbers on. So we're dealing upwards of nine damage or 18 critical. That's a lot of critical hits that we're, we're seeing there. Attack speed? Nah, more tranquilizing mass. Should we go for the tranquilizing mass build? Gotta watch out some of these enemies are uh, explosive themselves. Gain more experience. Early experience gain is pretty meaningful. So this is a game that I just bought because I thought it looked really fun. It was just kind of jokey. Ended up cranking out a lot of episodes of it. Like people really liked Goobies on stream. Arge Tranquilizing Mass. See, there's a different word in there. Gain three Tranquilizing Masses which float around you and stuns enemy for one second, dealing 1.3 damage and applies 10 knockback. Fire is also solid here, but I'm gonna go with the Tranquilizing Mass. I was in Needles. Your initial attack will fork into two weaker projectiles. Nah, let's go more explosive blob. Radius of AoE, sounds nice. Look at these crowds of people. Oh my god, the AoE just wiped. Girthed up again? Nah, I gotta go into Tranquilizing Mass. I stop firing for a second. Yeah, look at that. They, they can't even get to me. It's not dealing a whole lot of damage. Three on crit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boss is here. Z-Grid. We're doing tons of damage. And those meteoroids that are coming down? Ooh, what's this? Your attacks fire plus one additional projectile, but all attacks now deal 80% damage. It should scale, because at some point in time, taking 20% damage off the top isn't worth one more projectile. It would be if it doubled my projectiles. More crit, please. You missed, you missed horribly. Zegrid's been defeated. And then we get to spin this little prize wheel. We got times two chain lightning strikes. So a chain of five lightning deals more damage, 50% chance to spark one lightning strike, dealing 12.4 damage. So that's the extra evolution there of the chain lightning strike. Couple enemies left, but otherwise, ooh, health. We can go into this growing egg yolk to be teleported to the next level. Here we go. Next level, red zone. There is no final boss. It would be cool if there was some sort of ending to go for. More tranquilizing mass, but now it's a tranquilizing shield. 
stuns enemies, does knockback. Each mass has a 15% chance of generating a temporary shield around the player for 4 seconds that reduces incoming damage by 25%. If I get enough of these, we'll be untouchable. I think that the chain lightning strikes is probably the strongest thing that we have right now. It is completely wiping. Wow. Wow, that was a big wipe. Increase your damage by 15%. Yeah, we'll go with some crumbled sapphire. I'm gonna turn the damage numbers off for now. It's just kind of unnecessary clutter. I don't really care. Maybe until later, we can check. That is the sound of a mini boss spawning. You can see the one with the health bar over there. A specific one uh, does this spin move and tries to suck me in. Yep, we're getting sucked in. Guess I didn't really move that much. <laughs> mini boss drops this thing. Times two, 20% critical chance. Okay, plus 40% crit chance. That's almost 100. That's up to 92% crit chance. Gain lightning strike. You can see how it looks different too. It's our bread and butter. But gosh darn it, if I don't want some citrine crumbs. Let's get some attack speed in there. We have units that are carrying other units, but they're just exploding. I don't know if it's the AOE or if it's the chain lightning that's killing them before they even spawn. Yes, give me, give me more. I need more enemy spawns. Initial attack will pierce an enemy one time, dealing 25% less damage each pierce. Piercing sounds real good. More piercing means we're gonna hit more enemies. Hitting more enemies means we're gonna get more chances for the on-hit procs, aka meteoroids and chain lightning. Give me more mini bosses. I love the mini boss wheel spins. Wiggling worms. Enemies have a 10% chance to release up to one worm on death, each dealing 4.35 damage to all enemies hit. I don't think that the worms gain our on hit effects, so I think that the worms would be a negative for us. Fire AoE, 15% chance to ignite an AoE fire upon death. Goo. Attacks have a 15% chance to conjure one homing goo, or 25% chance to chain up to one enemy. I don't know if the chain takes our on hit effects either. Let's go fire. AoE on AoE on AoE. It's possible too though if they die to the fire that also would not trigger our on hit effects. I don't know. Shouldn't matter if they're all dead anyways, I guess. Look at that. Look at that. They just disappeared. Uh, mini boss. What does this one do? Well, no one knows. We are going to gain three times movement speed. Excellent. More experience. You got to go with the experience early, right? Oh yeah, we're flying across the screen now. <laughs> soul of a ma'am. Attacks have a 5% chance to conjure the soul of a ma'am. Every time the soul pierces an enemy, an explosion will appear after its exodus, dealing up to 25.37 damage based on the number of enemies pierced. We'll try it, sure. I mean, it's gold, right? It's gotta be good. I honestly think this might be the best build in the game. Going strong on AoE and getting a shield. Oh, boss time. It's a ma'am. So the souls of are, are souls of the bosses, if you haven't uh, gathered that. Oh, just crushed it. Spin the wheel. Times three lightning strike. Chain lightning conductor now. There's a 50% chance to generate a lightning attack from the player for 10.25 damage. This is so good. Tranquilizing shield, gotta do it. I'm legally obligated to. Each critical strike has a 20% chance of causing up to two slashes on nearby enemies. Well, we have a crit build. We're almost 100% crit, so that seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, you can see them all. I probably don't even have to move. All right, our enemies are coming in, though. Armored. They're taking way more hits. We are going to have to up our damage output. There it is, hardened tip. Or do I want more piercing? Or do I want more tranquilizing shield? I mean, if I see tranquilizing shield, I have to take it. Obviously, piercing would have been a better choice. Mini boss, come get some big guy. Look at my tranquilizing masses, just stunning him and keeping him there in place. Are you even trying, dude? Times three, strange fruits unmeasurable power. Strange fruits really increase your attack and pickup range, but we're also feeling luckier, so that probably means higher rarity skills. Mini boss again, same dude. Times one, 5% attack speed. Evolution of the experience orb thing. It's called orb duplicator. There is a chance that it duplicates when I pick up, so you'll see it pop out and it makes a little bleep, makes a little bleep sound. Sprinter mini boss. Completely neutralized by my shield. Give me the goods, baby. Times two, 20% crit damage. That's perfect. 40% more damage on crits. 
Oh, hey, we got these guys with the red legs. They fire these projectiles in on me. Another mini boss. Loving that. Come on, dude. Are you even trying? Did I tell you that the tranquilizing mass shield was going to be good? I did. 10% damage multiplier. As in, like, 110% damage. <laughs> you imagine? We only do 10% damage now? Exploding fire pools. Go. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the fire on the ground. That seems real good. I'm just sprinting into crowds of enemies. I'm killing them so fast. Increase damage of AoE, please. More mini bosses, please. Another one. Times three, 15% damage. Oh, 45% damage up. And the final boss, too, of the level. Magmus. We have not seen Magmus yet. Very dangerous with the laser that it shoots. You know, if it could survive longer than five seconds. 30% crit chance up. That's over 100%. Tranquilizing shield. The only thing that really is a threat to me right now are the dudes that shoot the projectiles. Times three, frost bolt. 15% chance to conjure a frost bolt that slows hit enemies by 30%. Deals 24 damage. Yeah, I wasn't trying to go for that, but if it's free, I'll take it, I guess. I could have sold it for experience. And times two, chain shot. I'm getting so many mini bosses. I do have an artifact on right now that gives me double the amount of mini bosses. But even this seems like a lot. 20% AOE radius. Yeah. Nothing can stop me. Let's go. Put damage numbers back on. What kind of damage are we talking about? Up to 53, 59, 107, 119 in there. Yeah, this, that's that's pretty good. Increased damage up to 60%. Always more mini boss, please. Times two dizzy balls. I'm gonna reroll. Times one tranquilizing shield. <laughs> More tranquilizing shield? I'm passing up piercing for this, by the way. Every item is tranquilizing shield build. I don't think there's modding support in this, so probably won't be able to do anything like that, but that, that could be fun. I think there might be actually an artifact that allows you to choose your upgrade. Maybe that would do it. Boss is already dead. Times three, 15% attack speed, 45% attack speed bonus. Oh yeah. Stage five we're on. So many more enemies. Chain Lightning Conductor. So as you can see, we've already filled up these things, which means it's no longer going to evolve, but we can still put upgrades into it if we want to. It'll just increase all of the numbers here. I said no to Tranquilizing Mass this time. I'm sorry. But look, this is why we need these Tranquilizing Masses. Otherwise, we would have gotten overrun already. The Armored Sprinters. They do me in almost every time. Rapid Capsule. I don't know if I've ever maxed this one out. I guess I'll take it, but... It, uh, oh... All right, movement speed doesn't mean a lot when you're surrounded on all sides, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Armored sprinters. Oh, I get hit there. What hit me? Was it a projectile? Times three, post-mortem obliteration. Dealing damage to enemies above 80% HP has a 35% chance to deal 150% of that damage again. If the target dies, trigger a post-mortem obliteration resulting in 100% bonus to on-death effects. We do have some on-death effects. The explosion fire is a uh, on-death effect. Magmus, final boss. Didn't even get a laser off. We got times two fractured sapphire. Increase your damage by 115%. All damage has a 5% chance to deal double damage. Oh, a lot of explosive enemies in this map. Seems like it's just a small island. Small island, lots of explosive guys. And they spawned out in the water, which is kind of weird because I can't actually get out there and get that experience. A lot of projectile shooters too. They're really trying to get me here on this map. Times two sonic howl. Small sonic howl every 0.75 seconds, dealing 6.82 damage to surrounding enemies. I think if I upgrade that enough, it might have like a, a, a knockback effect on it as well. So that combined with my tranquilizing mask could be a way to protect myself. I just wish there was a way to deflect projectiles. Times three slashes. Each slash is now a guaranteed critical strike. They are really trying to overwhelm me on this island. Armored sprinters. You got nothing. Tree hugger. Hugging trees is a chance to release a cluster of 30 orb experience. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to sit in the trees and hug the trees. You notice that some of the trees are exploding with those experience orbs. I'm not going to focus too hard on it, this one. Sitting still is pretty dangerous for projectile attacks, so. Zgrid boss. Where? Right here. Smooshed. The bosses are almost like the easiest part of the game. 
40% damage multiplier, 5% attack speed, 15% damage multiplier. We're in the end game now. There's gonna just be like one or two things that happen that are just gonna wipe me out. Gaia boss. It's over the big tentacles. Done. 30% attack speed. Yeah, buddy. Hug some trees. Hug the trees before you go. Come on, tree. Give it to me. Hey, tranquilizing shield. You know I wanted these three tranquilizing masses. Don't play with me, game. Exponential chain. Your initial attack, 100% chance to chain up to five enemies, dealing nine damage. Additional plus two damage for each consecutive chain. Seems pretty good. Oh, hello. Sorry, were you trying to do something there? Times two fire AOE. Times two thick hide. Regenerate health, take less damage. Spiky hide. Enemies that touch me are dealt damage. That's, you know, eh. Tranquilizing mass should hopefully prevent anybody from touching me. Fire AOE is now upgraded to wildfire. Deals up to two times additional damage based on the number of enemies hit. Sounds excellent. Wow. Just melting mini bosses. Oh, that almost gave me the <laughs> tranquilizing mass. Low viscosity, your attack will pierce enemies five times. 25% less damage each pierce. Four consecutive pierces will generate a faster second piercing shot in the same direction, dealing six damage. Piercing on piercing. A lot of armored units here. I gotta be careful. I don't want to move too much because I don't want them to slip through my tranquilizing mass shield. But I have to move enough that I don't get hit by projectiles. This is why movement speed is kind of meh. Like, where am I gonna move to? Oh my gosh, the projectile's coming in. Tranquilizing mass? Don't mind if I do. I want to get a solid wall. Tranquilizing wall. Hey, one more. You have nothing on me, armored sprinters. Projectile shooty guys, though, you have everything on me. That is going to be my demise. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What's this? Laser strikes? Never seen that before. That's kind of cool. Oh, my armored sprinters. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're coming in. Yikes. That could have been bad. If it weren't for my tranquilizing mess, we'd be dead. Enhanced dizzy balls. You know what? Just go for it. Increase your attack speed by 50%. Every time you attack, you have a 15% chance to gain a stack of frenzy, temporarily increasing your attack speed by another 5%. 60% attack speed? Wowee. Z-grid with mini Z-grids. And then we're just like permanently having these, uh, these shots coming in. Do more wildfire. Or we could do flat damage on our projectiles. Maybe flat damage would be better. That's damage before all of the multipliers. What are the damage numbers right now? 154 I saw. That could have been a dizzy ball though. Seeing, oh, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing anything. I think 150 to like 250 I saw there. Maybe even a number as high as 500? Armored sprinters! Oh, they're getting through. These armored uh, big giants, they are taking quite a punch. Worst part about that is that they are going to be standing between me and killing the projectile guys. That's a mini boss in there. Oh, there was. Times two goo balls. No. Times one sonic howl. Lame. You can see how much we are just not killing enemies anymore. They have so much more health. 15% damage multiplier, love that. Hey man boss, what is this? Bunch of explosive bubbles now appearing on the boss fights. Silly saucers. It's just not what I want. More meteoroid, I guess. Stage 12, I'm not sure I've ever made it this far. Cracked Ruby, critical strike, 325% damage, adding a stack of bleed, causing 50% of that damage over three seconds. That's gonna be good against these big guys who are taking more hits now. Oh yeah, I can already feel it. Exploding volcanic pool. Release five volcanic orbs exploding upon impact. 40% AOE radius. Crit chance? No. Crit damage? Yes. This island is tiny. They're spawning all these explosive enemies. Pathetic. I see right through you. My AOE has so much power. 30% damage multi. Gotta watch out, there's so much going on. So much going on. Unstable Dizzy Balls. 30% chance of ricocheting two times. Stunned and slowed enemies killed by Dizzy Balls have 25% chance of causing an implosion. Frost Nova. 15% chance to conjure a Frost Bolt. 25% chance to trigger an Ice Nova, dealing 14 damage. 
I'm not even sure I could see a Frost Nova at this point in time, even if I was looking for one. Anyone seen any Frost Novas in this mess? Just volcanoes. Broken Citrine, 65% attack speed. I want to see what happens, because we've gone from Citrine Chunks to now Broken Citrine to get Flawless Citrine. The shields, just, the shields are here. The, the shields, though? 5% damage multiplier. The bosses are teleporting now. Kind of telefragging, it seems like, since it's a big red circle. I probably oh, don't want to be standing inside of that. Times two splinters. Attacks have a 20%, 25% chance to splinter four times upon impact. Sharp splinters. Attack have a 30% chance to splinter six times upon impact, dealing 16 damage each and piercing once. So I'm wondering if my shot comes into the enemy, if it then splinters, but also still pierces and splinters per hit. And then those splinter and do the same thing. Could be a really, really good synergy there. I mean, whatever's happening, it's working, so. Icicle Rain. Ice Nova, 35% chance to trigger a volley of 10 icicles. Dealing 24.25 damage doubled if slowed. All right, are we gonna see these icicles? I'm seeing like snowballs, is that what we're talking about? Splinter Shower, 35% chance to splinter eight times upon impact, dealing 16.14 damage each and piercing twice while releasing a shower of five splinters. What is this? Oh, it's two bosses in one. And there's lasers everywhere. There are lasers everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Bombs and splinters and lasers. It's overwhelming. Crit chance. Just get out of here with your crit chances. Spiky discharge. So we regenerate HP. We take 50% less damage. 10.12 damage back to enemies who touch me. Damage dealt to you is stored. Once released, a burst of spikes erupts, dealing 500% of the stored damage to your enemies in your vicinity. That's a cool evolution. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I mean, 50% less damage is just already worth it. Ice caps are melting with all these volcanoes going off. One hour into the game, our damage numbers are looking like 400, 500, 1,400. 400 in there I thought I saw. Not even the damage numbers stand a chance. These are all super cool tranquilizing shield. Gotta do what I gotta do. Secret and Mumsa. Mumsa was the one that sprints at you. There's three of them. Wow, 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 wow. Get away. No, no, no. There's so much happening right now. I don't even know where Secret is. You know what I can't see right now is my flipping cursor. I suppose on hit effects are good. Secret's got so much life. Our first challenge here? Okay, let's do one sweep around the outside of the island to take care of all of these stupid ranged units that are bothering me. Now, go for Zegrid's face. Get in there. Zegrid's almost dead. 20% damage multiplier is beautiful. I feel sorry for my editor who's gonna get like a 145 gig file to edit. Please donate today so I can upgrade my Google Drive storage limit. So, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, I think the game has just decided it's over. Just don't move too fast. Just don't move too fast. Oh my goodness, you guys. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mini boss. Can I have that prize? I think the prize just got eight. Seismic Tsunami. Release a large ultrasonic wave every 0.3 seconds, dealing 37 damage to surrounding enemies. Each wave has a 15% chance to release a seismic, seismic, seismic tsunami, dealing 42 damage. I don't, I've never had that before. Yes, two more tranquilizing me inside of my tranquilizing castle. Girthed up, AOE plus 45% radius. Three more tranquilizing shields. Do we have a full wall yet? No, they're not even touching yet. Here's a note to the developer of the game if you are watching. I want more content for this, but specifically, I want more end game stuff. I want more evolutions. I legitimately want to get a tranquilizing castle. 30% AOE radius, oh my goodness. Like I want them, once they start to connect, I want to get little tranquilizing shield turrets. I want to have a little tranquilizing shield farm. I want to be a tranquilizing shield vassal. Watching over my little tranquilizing shield plebes. Hey, ma'am and Gaia. Gaia was pretty tough, right? Whichever boss is shooting the lasers, we got to take them out first, probably. Hey, ma'am's going down real hard. Gaia, where are you? Gaia, more like, where uh? <laughs> there you are. 30% damage multiplier, up to 475. 
40% attack speed. Look at all these shots coming in, though, from these enemies. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It's coming from inside the mountain. The mountains are working against us. Is it a volcano erupting? What What was that? I'm telling you, the game is mad that we're still playing. Yeah, the mountain's still, still attacking me. Okay, let's not go over there. More craziness. More craziness. Look at this AOE. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the bosses are dead already. Okay. Not too bad. More tranquilizing shield. They're kind of touching now. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh, gosh. It's trapped me in a corner. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm doing great. I'm doing phenomenal today. Why? Me trapped in a corner? Nope. It's never, never happened to me before. Dude, there's not even, like, anywhere to go to dodge anything. I just gotta be able to soak up this damage. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, ow, 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 ow. This is, like, perfect storm right now. My goodness. Gotta get rid of one of these guys, at least. Mom, so you gotta go. One down. 45% crit damage. <laughs> Where's the other boss? I can't see anything but red. Where are you? There you are. Teleporting all around. You got this big red circle around you. I don't know if that means I'm just constantly taking damage inside of that zone. Kind of seems like it, yeah. You are one tough cookie. I will give you that. Halo, gain damage per lost HP. Yeah, I guess. Endless hailstorm. Each storm has a 25% chance to release one huge hailstorm, which releases its own hailstorm when enemies approach it. And 60% AOE radius. I just want to set the world on fire. Instead of I don't want to set the world on fire. Look at, look at the AOE. Boss time, here's the real test. This one's going way better than the last one though. I'm not even sure these big bubbles blowing up are doing any dam- Oh, that did do dam some damage to me. Never mind. After sitting in one, I see that it does damage to my face. I've got five dizzy balls now, and 45% more AoE radius. This has been a great map, great stage for radius. You see the giant uh, meteorites falling down now? Oh man. What if I stop shooting and let my dizzy balls do all the work? Firing? Nah. Moving? <laughs> Mini boss. Even the dizzy balls took out the mini boss. That's pretty good. I, I just can't even see the map. I'm trying to understand what's going on. It's not working. I'm gonna charge in and just go for the kill. Push him around with my uh, tranquilizing castle. Absolutely nothing can stop me. Nothing is getting even close. And the game is surprisingly still running really well. I did not read this before. Critical strike chance exceeding 100% can result in a mega crit. I had no idea that mega crits were a thing. Oh, cool. Another tranquilizing shield. Almost two hours into this run. Turns out the final boss is your GPU overheating. We are getting some lag here and there, but I think at this point in time, we can officially say we beat Goobies. We win. I don't even know if I could die if I wanted to. If I stop firing and just start moving into the enemies, we're still killing them too fast. I unfortunately have some adulting to take care of, so I'm gonna end it here. I'd love to just play this all day until my computer literally starts on fire, but I don't have that kind of time. Thank you so much for watching this. Let me know if you're gonna pick this up. I wanna know what your best time is. Almost got to a million kills there. Oh, our DPS breakdown. Tranquilizing shield at the bottom. Don't listen to them, tranquilizing shield. You were doing great. Soul of a ma'am. I knew it was garbage. Icicle rain, splinter shower, unstable dizzy balls, essence of Z-Grid. That was the meteorites, I think. Big spikes, lame. Chain lightning conductor. I'm surprised you're so low. Projectile. That's just my normal shot. Wildfire, serrated slash, post-mortem obliteration. Seismic tsunami, really. And then, of course, exploding volcanic pool. Wow. Five billion damage. New high score. We broke it. Phenomenal game. Not above 95% overall ratings, but I had to show it off to you. I know you're going to like it. Once again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, that squirrel is so cute. I must shoot it and staple it to my skinless wife? Of course you have.